Hi. So, um, I've recently been given the TBS Triumph 500 gigahertz antenna. Well, 5.5 to 6 gigahertz to be specific. Uh, these are probably arguably the best 5.8 gigahertz antennas on the market at the moment. Um, all the serious pilots use them. They give excellent um, RF coverage and they have a pretty good gain. So, if you open the little box, you get two antennas and two converters, which is nice because I previously had to buy these um, when I had the wrong SMA or RP SMA connector. So, um, I will be speaking about the best way to protect these because I've read that some people tend to break them um, usually around the connectors or on the antenna cover itself. Uh, the best way to protect this is heat shrink. So what I have here is two sizes of heat shrink. Um, the one is 8 millimeter diameter and the other one is a bit bigger. I'm presuming it's about 10. So what I'll do first is you can see it comes uh, already with a bit of heat shrink here but I'm gonna double up or triple up on that. So I'm gonna do uh, two little bits of heat shrink around the connector as well as uh, closer to the antenna cover as well. Uh, these will go like so. Just make sure not to put it over the cover, otherwise you're not going to be able to turn that. And then heat shrink, heat, So what I'll do is, this is the antenna that's going to go on my quad. I'm going to put two of those layers on. Um, make this one a bit bigger. Two of these. And then I'm going to put a long one of the, the purple over it. Just because it's going to look nicer on my quad, which is color themed purple as you can see this is the DXL Hyper C freestyle frame um, and because it will give it a bit of extra strength so let's measure this You can get this locally from flyingrobot.co. They sell out pretty quickly when they do get stock, but they do stock them every now and again. So that basically just protects the um, antenna cable and connector. Uh, what a lot of people do as well is they get a larger piece of heat shrink and then cover, put it over the plastic cover. I don't have a, a big thick piece of heat shrink like that, but if you do manage to find that, it does help a lot because the covers tend to snap when they're hit. So. Another way to make sure that you don't break this in a crash is not to mount it straight on your quad. Uh, this is a, a surefire way to break the connector, snap it as soon as you fly.
fly into something or you misjudge, hide through a gap, etc. So what I usually do is I'll mount it backwards and then bend it up slightly. So I'll cable tie it to the top of um, my quad frame, which I can't find right now. Um, and that should that should keep it pretty stable. Um, just put a few cable ties through it um, and you'll struggle to break it in even in a very hard crash. So cool. Yeah, the triumphs um, I'll see if I can do a range test on these with the TBS Unify Pro. Uh, but what, from what I've read it should be a pretty substantial range. Uh, I hope this helps some of you and if you want to get one in South Africa flyingrobot.co uh, they ship pretty quickly great customer service 